In this video, we're going to be sharing with you a little money route combination, real simple, uh, but really good against the meta that you're facing right now. We're going to have some cool stuff with freeform, not freeform, but just user catching as well. Uh, in this video, we're going to show it out of trips tied in. You can apply this to other formations, but I do like this specifically out of trips tied in. I'm in the Detroit playbook, and uh, if you want to get my full trips tied in ebook, the link is in the description of the video, patreon.com slash Cody Ballard. Ten bucks gets you access to everything, uh, but let's get into the play. The play that we're going to be going over today is verticals out of trips tied in and i wanted to show you um just kind of the, the the real beauty of the verticals concept and how you can like leverage the power of verticals to be able to attack the current meta and kind of learn a, a kind of a more of a open field open field passing open 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 grass reads if you will that's the air raid concept um but we can apply it in madden all, all over the place so uh, real simple. We want to make sure you don't have to do this, but I like to uh, that your trips is to the wide side of the field. I do think that that helps significantly. And we're just going to show you kind of a, an effective way to run this. So what we're going to do is we're going to motion the circle receiver across. We're going to put him on a comeback. We're going to streak our tight end. So we have seam reads on both sides of the field. And then with the running back, you can kind of do whatever you would like, honestly. Um, you can leave him on this little curl. You can block the running back. Um, if you want it on the left side, you could put a C route. You can kind of freestyle out of this play is what I'm getting at. Um, we can put the running back on an in route. But what's really nice about this, if you look to the right side here, you're going to notice that um, you're going to get kind of a free release as I get screamed at from a four-man rush in practice mode. Um, that blitz, uh, I, I would love to say that that blitz doesn't always come in in-game, but I have seen that this year with just how incredibly uh, bad the offensive line is. But anyways, what you'll see with this comeback route is you should be able to get a free release down the sideline. If you don't, it's actually better for us. You see how I can free... Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeform pass that inside and i'm going to be able just to click on and make a play so really simple it's a great way to be able to beat man now a lot of people can do different shading so let me give you an example of a shade that's popular we're going to show, show you a, a shade um, inside when he comes back on the right side there um, another thing that you can do with this unbumpable that's really interesting uh, and we're going to get into some other stuff against man here in just a second uh, but another thing that you can do with this unbumpable route, um, especially if you have better route running than Johnson out there, but you can actually, you see when he gets pressed, yeah, it's almost like a good thing for us. We can just inside pass lead and be able to beat it that way. However, if if they if they don't press us, uh, which I'll try to illustrate that here, um, if they don't press us out of this concept, this comeback route should give you some, some ability uh, to be basically user caught, just like that right there. Um, obviously, you're going to need a little bit bigger of a body uh, to make that play. Uh, I think that's a little bit more you know, helpful. But if they're not going to jam him, you can kind of do that. There's some other stuff we can do against man. I mentioned the corner route on the left side. I think this is really underrated. You'll see right here, you're just going to... That's got to be like that's got to be that's so broken in practice mode. It doesn't happen. I haven't seen that very consistently in game, but in practice mode, for whatever reason, um, it does happen. Uh, but anyways, what you'll see a lot with this is if they guard the comeback route, if we have the C route on the left side, you'll see that this is also really effective for beating man-to-man -man coverage. It's also it's a it's a corner route out of the outside apprentice. A lot of people in this game are using outside apprentice for that specific route and I myself am one of them. So, I would definitely want to have that ability. So, we've got a couple different ways uh, to beat man-to-man -man, uh, here as you see this this um, this comeback route. This comeback route can be kind of a pain honestly, uh, but if you have short out elite on him um, or short in even some kind of route running ability, it'll be fine. Um, you also have this little running back route. Let me show you something with the C route real quick. So you see, again, there we could throw it right there. Um, but you see, if we wait on it, they can kind of jump it this year. Okay. So again, when I talk about the open grass read and just having the ability to kind of freestyle this a little bit, one of the things that I really like about this play is I could do a concept like this, um, even using like an out route on the right. I think this is pretty unique, pretty decent, um, because you'll see that this out route and is also something that you can go to that will pre pretty decent at beating man-to-man. -man. 
So you can kind of use the comeback, you can use the out route, uh, and then of course we have the C route on the back side. We have some different opportunities against man, but where this play really shines, of course, as you can imagine, is probably zone. Um, so what you'll see is the seams this year uh, are really are really tender. Um, you can kind of hit you can kind of hit a lot of plays uh, for pretty decent gains in the seams the main read on this obviously their user is going to be in the middle of the field and he's going to basically have to choose am i going to go guard the running back or am i going to guard one of these seam streaks you'll see that these c rat the c rat on the left is still really effective against cover two as you can see right there that seam streak to the triangle receiver will kind of distract the defender long enough for us to be able to attack cover two in that facet as well um you know again i can't stress enough the importance of you know, maybe putting the running back on a potential wheel route for the blitz or utilizing these seams quick against any kind of zone pressure. Uh, you see how good this running back route is. Just a quick hitting, you know, something you can just get the ball out quick uh, with. Uh, but the other thing that you could do is you can go back to that little wheel out route combo, like something like this, and you can still have the vertical read on the left side, even with the C route. So you could do something like this to kind of like tweak it a little bit for uh, some type of heavy pressure. So if I'm getting heavy pressure, I could go to something like that. Notice that I can lob this wheel route against man. So if they really want to sit in man a lot, I find that, that little man switch, little wheel route play um, is actually pretty effective. Now cover three, let's get into cover three a little bit on this. Again, seams, I can't stress enough. So we're just trying to figure out where can we hit the seams at. Here the coverage rolls. So we want to high ball that to the tight end right up the seam just like that now if their user you know let's say their user uses users uh the tight end the tight end streak then we want to come back to this left side and the beauty of this little seam streak on the left side here is you'll see that i can throw that route with pretty decent consistency whether it be man or zone uh on that c route now if i don't want to use the c route that's fine uh, again, if you don't have outside apprentice, you could do something like this. And I think this is actually fairly underrated. Um, this little ag here, uh, just pass lead that to the outside. You can kind of get that over the top. Of course, there I messed my, my uh, catch up. But you can kind of put that in a position where only your receiver can get it. So you're either going to catch it or they're going to tackle you and you're going to drop it. Um, you want to kind of pass lead this outside. So you see here against cover three. You know, I'm just going to free form to the outside. Of course, Brady's going to kill me. Maybe need to highball that. But, you know, that's that's been a pretty decent little play, um, you know, user catch-wise this year for me. And, again, this is more of a cover four, cover three thing. But kind of getting the ball right there, and you can kind of user catch them. If you got a big body receiver out there, that's something you can also do. But, again, the beauty of the play is the fact that you can completely freestyle if you want to so let's say we want to leave this corner route to Rudolph maybe we want to run the running back maybe do something like this okay you can do this and you keep the integrity of the entirety of the play uh, built within everything as well okay so you can really kind of freestyle out of this which I think is super important uh, this year but I can't stress enough how good this little C route is um, when you pair it with these vertical routes you know and even if you're doing something like like a five vertical almost you know you do something like this this is a great little variation of it right we got five people uh and we're all running verts and then you saw there the come or the c route was standing wide open on the right side so you know using the c route as kind of a freestyle read for you against man to man now they're going to shade outside to stop that or they're going to drop a zone and then what that should do is this little access throw right here to your seam streak is like super easy to hit. All you're doing is you're going to free form uh, pass lead inside to be able to hit that. Uh, and again, this is just something, you know, I mean, again, like man coverage, you see how he, pre he releases inside. And now I should be able to hit that uh, with a free form to the inside. You might not, you honestly might not even have to pass lead it. Just the way ags work this year, you might be able just to click on and make the play and not even have to care. Um, you know, so again, if they're shading you outside, which is one of the ways they might try stopping your C route, right? So they're going to shade me outside. I should have leverage um, on the inside. Also notice, I wanted you to see that on the right side real quick. Um, 
take a look at this real quick. So this is a shaded outside uh, cover one robber. I want you to look at this animation. Um, you see how he kind of gets this little glitchy animation right there. We can take advantage of that um, again in a press coverage scenario. So. You know, we can kind of look at the C route quick, look at the seam streak. We've got a lot of quick options, um, you know, and then if they give us that little deal, like right there, you see how I can now throw that inside if I get that animation. And you just kind of learn how to read the animations against man. Um, this can actually be fairly strong of a, uh, a fairly strong play that you're going to funnel them really into running a cover four where, you know, everything else should take off. But just see here... Um, you know that time we got we got taken care of there, but we can go hit that. Um, you know, so there's just a lot you can do in this little in this play. And again, it doesn't have to be the exact setup. It doesn't have to just be this, right? Um, if we we have we have a concept on the right and a concept on the left. So like for example, one of the things that I like to do could be you know something. You know, this is just an example. You know, but maybe we want to run something like this, right? You can do that you know, with these vertical plays, you know, or something like that. Um, but anyway, this just gives you kind of some options. Uh, and you see here that if they're going to release inside like that, I can freeform those streaks inside and just cut them off. So this is going to kind of, you know, again, if you work on this, work on the freeform aspect of being able to pass lead these open. And again, my freeform settings aren't anything crazy. Uh, I pretty much just take what people recommend. I don't really know a whole lot about freeform yet to be able to speak confidently on it. But what I will say is, you know, if you get an animation like that, where you get that animation where I'm getting that, um, that, that free run, and especially again, cause again, the, the way they're going to shade to try to stop you in this is they're going to shade outside, right? That's how they're going to shade to stop you. So now your streaks open and your comeback route, if he gets a free release will be open as well. Um, you see how open that, streak was i just had a terrible pass lead but you see how open that streak is to the inside of the of the play so this is just kind of a way that you can kind of freestyle uh some some decent routes uh against the current meta offensively defensively uh and, and again don't sleep on this comeback route against zone um there is a terrible pass lead uh, but don't sleep on the comeback route against zone of course you got the running back underneath and then you have these these uh, these vertical streaks that are going to be really really effective. So you know this is just kind of a concept. I think you know C route off coverage, and then you have that that ability to freeform that streak on the left with the C route to kind of funnel them into having to shade outside because the C route is such a dominant route this year. Um, it's probably the most dominant route against man that we have, and then the ability to have you know stuff like this as well at our disposal. So. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much one of my favorite plays right now for attacking, um, you know, the different metas that we're starting to see just with the man coverage. And if you can get really good with your reads, you can kind of run this against anything. So if you want to learn the entire Trips Tied In Offensive eBook, this is a great play that you can kind of add into that scheme. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Trips e or the Patreon, that'll get you access to all the eBooks and all the updates. The link is down in the description. Uh, again, like I said, it's just 10 bucks to get you access to everything. Uh, thanks for watching. And we hope to see you at the Patreon.